Howdy everybody, Virgai here, and last time we beat Falconer, the gym leader of uh, Violet City. And, wait, is that Violet City? Was that Violet City? Where am I again? Who am I? Yeah, Violet City. Yeah, we beat, we beat Falconer, and also we made it past Route 32, and we got ourselves a Mareep, uh, who I named Foil. And I tried to explain what foil was in terms of modern fencing, but I just messed up. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna go inside of the Union Cave. Wish us luck. But who knows what we'll encounter inside here. But, since I have a bit of control of what we might find, I'm putting the repel on. My only fear... I say fear, but it's more of just like my only... The only thing I don't want to find in here is... Surprisingly enough... A Geodude. I mean, I'm fine with anything else inside here, I just don't want to find a Geodude. Beat the crap out of it. It's adorable, but kill it. <laughs> oh, it's a quick attack match. Well, this is gonna look very similar to the starter fight. Whichever one gets a crit wins. And it's got a baby may. Uh, okay, so... Don't ask what that was. <laughs> Don't ask what it You're better off not knowing. Um, alright, so going down here, this is where all the prime stuff are. Why do I keep doing this voice? I'm so sorry any Texan who watches my videos. Rock Tomb. That's a good move. Uh, can anyone learn that move for future reference? I have a feeling... Uh, only Grabby can learn it. <laughs> well, that's that. Okay, now I gotta be real careful. Um, it honestly makes more sense to put Krabby out. Because whatever I do find inside here, it is going to be a rock type or some form of a rock type. An Aeron! I was not expecting that, but I am happy nonetheless. I love Aeron. <laughs> um, I don't want to fight you. Okay. Alright, that's good. That's real nice. And that was a weird delay. Uh... Aeron, Iron Pokemon, Armor Pokemon. Steel and Rock type. It weighs 132 pounds. Oh gosh, this thing. And it's, it's so small! <laughs> it's so tiny. Um, when it evolves, it sheds a steel. Uh, carapace that covers its whole body it, and develops a new one. What are we gonna call you? I don't know, something cool. Some amazing. Perfect name. Perfect name. I wanna call him. Gladius. Welcome to the team, Gladius. Alright, now we can get out of here, because this place is scary. I was actually hoping to find a guard chomp, not a guard chomp, uh, a gibble inside there. Because I never caught a freaking gibble every time I go inside there. It's always on my second uh, run through. Um, actually, I'm very curious about that thing's stats.
Yeah, I think about it, I could have ran into this. I mean, eventually it might be good to run into a zoom hat. Because that type, that type coverage is pretty nice. I guess another Pokemon wants to join the fray. Another Zubat. <clears throat> Wasn't the last one male? This one female? Must have been her boyfriend. Let's check out Gladys and also Foil. Oh, sorry. Alright, so Foil, Static, Lax Nature. What is Lax Nature again? So your defense is high and your special defense is low. Um, okay. Alright, now... Gladius. Rockhead and Hasty. Ooh, the defense is lowered. Well, that's nice. Or defense against recoil damage. Um. Man, I wish. Uh. <laughs> I wish I got him earlier. That way. I got two really good Pokemon here. A Dragonair, a Rigatini, and an Aron. So I play my cards right. Well, if I play my cards right, no one's gonna die anymore. It's only one death, but... If I play my cards right, if something else dies, uh, I could potentially have a Dratini or a Dragonite, and also an Agron. Um, and possibly a Blastoise. But knowing me, I'm probably going to mess something up. Oh, I might as well top them off here. You don't need to see this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh... Yeah, I'm glad I didn't run into you. Why didn't you show up earlier? I could have used it earlier. Surprise, I didn't expect to see anyone here. I was gonna try to make the music go with his voice, but mm, I didn't work. I didn't it didn't work. Hello, Onyx. Meet Krabby. Krabby, shake hands. Or Krabby. Let's learn Mud Shot. Who do do what now? You want to learn a, a what? Uh, should I? I am thinking about this for the long run? Okay, because if I think about it, I'm going to run into an electric type with Krabby at some point, but then again, why would I use Krabby in turn for an electric type? I don't know. Dude! Dude! Check this out. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's, uh... Oh, I threw mud in his mouth and he's spitting it up. That's 
disgusting. Why do I say some of this stuff? That's so gross. Now he's got a really disturbing visual. Shoot, I, didn't even, I never even seen the video and I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> Pass. Let's keep Krabby out. Now I know I named it, but is it Krabby or Krabby? Krabby? Oh, oh, oh. I got a call from Faulkner. Hey, this is Faulkner. How are you doing? She's not interested. You chatted with Janny in Fuchsia, Fuchsia City, haven't you? No, I've never even met her. All she ever talks about is her dad, you know? Endlessly. I mean, it's good to have a healthy respect for your dad, but it's better to have a self have better to have self confidence. Faulkner, why are you talking to me? Don't you have friends? Don't you have your own dad to talk to? Don't you have faith in your own abilities? Why Why am I still talking to you on the phone? Click. He hangs up himself. What a douchebag. Doesn't even say goodbye. Have a nice day. Just... I don't talk to Faulkner anymore. He's, just... <laughs> He's one of those friends that just calls you up, tells you about their problems, then hangs up. What a douchebag. <laughs> Ooh, Pokeball. Oh my. Zubat Sonic, um, Son uh, Super Sonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset. I, I tried to give him a George Takai <laughs> voice. Coughing! Too bad you levitate. I can't do what I want to do. Grab it. Twist it. Bop it. No! Why does everything want to poison my boys? Get out of here. Well, Krabby's level 20 now anyway. So it's fine for him to retire a bit early. Um, oh, well, Magby's out. We'll keep you around for one more then. I don't know about any of you guys, I think Magby, Magby is so cute. <laughs> I really like Magby. I've never had one on a team before, but I, I really, I really would like one. I don't even, oh, that's right. You have sh um, shed skin. Why did you use it earlier then? When you got freaking burned. You see Krabby just doing the, the I don't know. <laughs> I flamed out. You what? I'm curious. What else do you say? I pretend to train. I practice training my Pokemon, but I've practiced breathing fire many more times than that. Don't try this at home, okay? You see that guy? No. <laughs> Oh, hello. Don't look at me like that. I couldn't have caught you. You didn't show up. So what was I supposed to catch? Coming in here with those big eyes of just nothingness and shine. Tell you, man. Oh, 
are you catching this water? I think it's just tentacle, right? Or is it, uh, Goldeen? Hey, it's Magikarp. Well, what, what am I even doing? Run away! Okay, I'm sorry, Kodachi. You have to get to level 20 sometime, buddy. Sometime you gotta get to level 20. <laughs> I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collection rival. I, I, I find myself more as a survivalist. Of course it's something that you're weak against. Well, alrighty then. Mm. Bug should still hurt him. Hey, you stop that. Mom Bali, I'm just letting you know, he possibly has uh, he probably has hypnosis. So if you fall asleep, that's on you. That's your butt. Oh yeah, and you might also have confusion. Don't you get confused by that though. Don't get it twisted. Okay, good. This might end up with him having to use a experience share. A Q bone, bone, bone. Um, let's see. Well, Krabby, you're the only one that can actually take that Q bone out. And if you hear some creaking in the background, that is my chair. I'm not expelling air from my butt. Why did I have to say like that? I, I, I'm not farting. <laughs> Trust me, you know. I make a big deal out of it. <laughs> I'd be like, did you guys hear that? That was a loud one. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Hime. How are you? See, this is how you actually answer the... This is how you talk to someone on the phone. I found a useful item while shopping, so I brought it... Oh, um, I bought it with your money. Sorry, but I asked a delivery man to take it to you. You should stop by the nearest Pokemart or a department store. Pick it up. Okay. Uh... Well... That's an item that we're probably not going to be able to see until we... Hey, look, the chop. Oh. I just... I just thought of something. So, I don't have anything that I can take on with me. I mean, I, I know I should be thinking about one gym at a time, but, like, seriously, what am I going to do against Whitney? I mean, I'm not exactly holding up fighting type in my team. I mean, Krabby can probably do something, but like the mill tank, bro. There is gonna be some deaths. No mistake in that. I no, get away from me! Get away! I don't- I, I didn't- I couldn't catch you! Just let me be! <laughs> Why doesn't he understand? Alright, Route 33! We made it! And that guy's gonna try to fight us. And he has a, fl a fighting type, as well as a, uh... I don't remember. I should just get my encounter. Okay, never mind. I, I was about to say, oh, an Ampy Palm, but it's a female. Okay. 
So not an happy pond, what else can I get? Please don't be a... Oh, I was gonna get so excited. I was gonna get so excited. So blues are a pain to train, but when they become an Altaria, they're good, but I killed my last one in my last run. I just spoiled that for you. That's okay, I don't think anyone really watches it. Um, please don't be Krogunk, please don't be Krogunk, please don't be Krogunk, please don't be... Ooh! I am very alright with this. I am super alright with this. Slag Ops hit hard. Sure they have the uh They also it's also trying to put me to sleep. Uh What is it called? What is that ability called? Uh True not truant. Um Are you sure about that? I forget. Loafing around, uh, I, I forget what the ability is. Oh my gosh. Don't you kill it. Who am I talking about? Don't you kill it. You can't kill it. <laughs> Not with a physical move, you couldn't. I want to try catching it now. Hey, cool. Um, I caught a slack off. A slacker Pokemon. Um, he weighs 52 pounds and he's two, huh, two feet. Um, let's see. Uh, the way Slackoth rolls around makes anyone who watches it feel like doing the same. So, I will call you, interesting, um, choice, I will call it, well, I'll say it's description first. Uh, is a sword with a flexible whip-like blade originating from the Indian sub subcontinent in modern day uh, Kerala um, in Sri Lanka. It is thought to have existed from as early as Sangam period. From the Sangam period, um, its name is Arumi. So they look like whips, and. When I'm looking at Slack Ops arms, I imagine whips. <laughs> Rumi. So good catch, good catch. Oh, he, he was turned around. That, that's never... I've never had that happen before. I'm still feeling great. I, I, I want to fight you. Although, I know you have a rock type. I came to the cave, but I still have, I have plenty of energy left. But... Nice! Glad to hear it. Anthony. And there's that Geo, dude. So here's something that could happen. I could go try to absorb, like I just did, and he can hit me with a rock. Or, or, here's another thing that could happen he could die. I'm out the chop that Moz. 
taste the air that cuts. It was super effective. You got more zip than me. By the way, I'm a hiker, so I often go to the mountains and caves. I don't usually go to the town. I bet you go to all kinds of towns on your journey, don't worry. I know he didn't say that. Uh, and you know, if, if we were to trade phone numbers, then we could exchange all kinds of information, yes? Uh, sure. I'll give you a call when I think of a good heartwarming story, okay? I mean, okay, at least this guy is uh, telling me that he's gonna call me and just provide me with stories and stuff. He's, he's like the he's like the the father figure type, not like Faulkner, who's just calling you up, telling you about people you never even met yet, and it's just like, who are you talking about? Why are you talking to me, man? What's going on here? Who are you? You don't know us. We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago. Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. And I'm talking. Shut up and just beat it. Dud. Oh, crap. That was uh, quite the push there. Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in here. So I'm standing guard to make sure. Please don't go wandering in. I am not a good Samaritan. I know there was a question mark with that, but I just, I just thought that it'd be better to just say it like that. Um, yay, another free Pokemon! That means that this is my encounter for this town. Like I said, gifted Pokemon are fine. I just have to treat them like they're encounters for a specific area. So for Azalea Town, this quiz giver guy is going to give me a starter again. And that means that I am going to have to make sure to save beforehand, obviously. Uh, oh, that's right. What are you? What are you? Docile. Oh, you're... You're fine. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hey, you're fine. It becomes a bigger off though. And then slacking. Hoo uh What am I doing? I was gonna put something in the PC real quick. So I'm going to try to cut my own hair today. I have not been to a barber shop since this whole quarantine thing started, and I kind of don't feel like going to one. Because <laughs> I don't want to deal with the hassle of, oh you need to wear a mask, you can't come in unless you wear a mask. I mean if you want to wear a mask it's fine. I honestly don't understand the point of having a mask on and hear me out when I say this uh, this is okay I can talk to this guy while I'm explaining this so oh no 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 hold 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 do this first I'm gonna be speeding this up so here, here's the point of why you shouldn't wear a mask so when they started talking or why it's silly to wear a mask when they first started talking about this whole thing they were saying that it was through touch so why the heck would you wear a mask then? And then when they started talking about, oh, it's airborne, and it can leap, like, from person to person, it's like, what? No? Why, why would, what are you talking about? But, uh, if you want to wear a mask, you can wear a mask. Um, nope. Okay, so, my bad. So this quiz goes like, well, something a little like this. Yes. Yes or no? No. Yes. Okay, so 
I have a... Uh... I have a synth... I have a synth that became a Quilava. I have a Squirtle inside the PC. I do not have a Grass type, but... Knowing this gem, you never know if you're going to keep your fire type. Because uh, it's an unpredictable one. An annoying one at that, too. Sorry, I've been doing a bit of thinking. Um, if I get Trico here, I wouldn't need it. If I get Mudkip... That would be better coverage in terms of water and ground, so his only weakness would be grass. I never used a mud kit before to get it to a Swampert, but Swampert is better out of the three. But I really like Torchic. I really like Blaziken. <laughs> He's one of my favorite starters. Um, but if I had to do it based off of just sm being smart about it, I would choose the mud kit. As you wish. Okay, now what does... Okay, it's a boy. So, what will I call you? Let's go for the Philippines in terms of weapons. Okay, kind of a weird name. Uh, I'm gonna call him Gulak. Or Gulak. Um, so, it says a Gulak is a cutting tool similar to a machete that comes in many var variations and is found throughout in the Indonesian archipelago. It is used as an archi architectural, or ah, I'm sorry, an agricultural tool as well as a weapon. The large golok is of Indonesian origin, but is also used in Malaysian and in the Philippines, both in Malaysia and in blank. Uh, sorry, I cannot say the word uh, agricultural, uh, but yes, I'm calling him golok, or golok. The way they spell it is G-U-L OK, but the description of the weapon spells it G-O-L OK. So Golok. Oops. Alright, Golok, what is your what does it say about you? Brave nature, so you have high attack. That is a good mudkip. Uh, would have been great if it was shiny. I'm fine with it the way it is. Now, what I really need is for some one of these Pokemon to have Pokerus on it randomly, and then just makes everything in my whole PC just have Pokerus. quite the collection. Mareep, Squirtle, Dratini, Zagoon can be put far down here. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Mudkip, Auron, and Slackon. So far, no complaints from me about this run. I could have had a Chimeco by this time, but uh, I made a mistake and killed it. There's another encounter I can get, which I might as well just do it now because I'm probably going to be using this area to train my um, Quilava or Kodachi. Uh, let's talk to this guy real quick though. You found me. Darn. Just kidding. I used to be a thief, but then I... No, no. Way am I saying that. But kid, thievery isn't always bad. I'll let you prove it. Thank you. I guess. So usually when we go right here and stuff, our rival will show up. But that only happens when you go to the gym. Um, 
I don't know who Wade is. It's another thirsty boy. Uh, so... Yeah, let's make our way through there. Stay out of mischief. Mischief is my middle name. Actually, no, it's not. Actually, a sigh might be really good for this place, too. Hello, Asai. He doesn't really want to talk to me right now. He's not very happy with me. <laughs> now, what do I plan to run into here? Well, I can run into a couple of things. One of the things I kind of want to run into is a... Uh... I wouldn't mind a Baneri. Or a uh, Carnivine. That's something that you can run into here too. I wouldn't mind that. That give me like a grass coverage. But we'll find out. You can also run into um, Pikachu inside here. Or a Pineco, which we're running from immediately. I remember I have memories of this thing. Oh my gosh, Pineco. If you run into a Pineco, you run. You ask no questions. You don't stop at go. You do not collect. <laughs> you just go. Why is he... No! No, another one! You know what? You know what? Fine. You wanna, you wanna come along with me? Sure. But you know what? I ain't fighting you. you pop out of that thing. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, I am not having it. I am not having it. How ironic. How ironic that I actually get you as a Pokemon. <sighs> it likes to make its, its shell thicker by adding layers of tree bark. The addition of weight does not bother it. This thing is basically a walking grenade. Uh, so, what am I going to call this thing? Um, this is kind of a, this is a sword, but it's, it's kind of a funny word, just a, just because of its namesake. Now, <clears throat> sorry, to me this sounds like it's, it's saying Scythe, like safe. But uh, its description says, in English, the word scimitar refers to the, bla uh, the black sword or saber, or the back sword or the saber, um, with a curved blade adapted from the Italian word of cim uh, scimitara uh, in the mid 16th century. From an unknown source, the word became used as all oriental blades, which were curved and compared to the more commonly straight and double blank. So I guess this is just what scimitar means in a different language. It says Arabian. So it's an African weapon. Uh, that The description does not do it justice. Um, so I'm just going to shut up and just continue on. So we have Saif. For safe. And he's definitely not safe. <laughs> If I run into another one, I promise you. We gotta get a freaking Badoo! Just think of that poison point. Alright, let's go check on Scythe and see what he's looking like. I mean, Fortress is good. I just don't know how good. There's an atom in nature. Okay, so he has. You see that? You see that? That's why I was afraid of this freaking thing. Self destruct. No. Why? Get out of here with that. Ugh. When does this thing evolve? I have no idea. 
Um, yeah, it's, it's, that's safe. Or safe. I'm gonna call him safe. <laughs> this is this the mess with people? Um, these names, my word. Uh, Alright. So, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. So next time, we're gonna... Well, I may be coming off from grinding. I'm thinking about having everyone be around, like, level 23? The highest level 24? And... Going through the Slowpoke well... And then taking on Bugsy. Oh man. This gem is gonna be a tough one. I mean I have I have a Spiro. Or I have a Psy here. And I also have I also have Kodachi. And if it gets hairy, I guess Mambale could take over. But the thing is that Scyther. That Scyther is ridiculous. That Cypher always moves first, and it always uses uh, Quick Attack at the worst of moments, and it always crits. I don't know why... I don't know why Cypher's stats are like that. But, yeah, next time we'll do that. We'll try to get to it. And I will see you, beautiful people, next time. So, take care of yourselves, have fun. Be safe, and uh, don't be sheep. Think for yourself. Okay, at the end of the day, you're the only one that matters. Bye, guys.